Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to repair a recoil that's not working on your Briggs and Stratton engine. And this recoil is on this Briggs and Stratton engine on a snowblower. However, this video will apply to many other engines that are Briggs and Stratton that may not be on a snowblower. The problem with this recoil is when you pull the rope, nothing happens. The spring's in good condition inside there, so it must be the paws or something else that's come off or broken. So what I'm going to do is show you how to take it off and repair it. Now fortunately on this Briggs & Stratton engine today, it's got some 8mm bolts that hold the recoil on. On some other models, you're going to have rivets, so you may have to drill out the rivets to get the recoil off or take the whole shroud off to repair this. But fortunately for today, all I need is a nut driver to remove the recoil. So there's actually four bolts holding the recoil on. There's one here and one over here. Now there's also going to be a piece of plastic that will come off with it as well. And I can already see what the problem is. The two paws have come out from the recoil assembly and they're sitting inside the starter cup. One's got some slight damage to it. And the other one doesn't seem that bad. And these plastic paws here go underneath the plastic part, so something happened and caused them to come out. It could also be that the plastic has warped a bit. What I've seen in the past as well is the engine will backfire and cause these to come right out of here. And sometimes you find them all broken up in pieces. But I can definitely see that there's a problem with this plastic part because you can see it's bent up. And that will make it a lot easier for the plastic paws to come right out. So now I'm going to proceed to remove that bolt. Now just be careful when you take this off. You don't want to pry this part up or get the spring out from underneath. As you can see it's still in its position so you don't want to pull on this because the spring may come apart or come undone. Sometimes it comes off and it's still intact inside the pulley here but don't take that chance unless you really have to. Now at this point when something like this happens what you want to do is examine the pulley and you want to make sure that the little pins here which are made of plastic are intact just as you see here on each side where the paws go in. If these plastic pins are broken you will need to replace the whole pulley. Also if the spring is broken inside and the rope will not recoil itself you will need to replace the whole pulley as well. And here's the part number for this it's 498144 from Briggs. And as you can see, the whole spring is included in this part with instructions as well. And for today, I'll be replacing this part here that I showed you. It's part number 692299. And I'm also replacing both paws. They're part number 281505S. What I'm going to do is put a direct link under the video to where you can buy these parts online for a good price. Now before continuing this operation, you want to remove the bolt from the older piece of plastic. Here it is up close, it's a shoulder bolt. And you also want to remove the little metal ring here. It's kind of spring loaded, so just take it off. And now reinstall it on the new part. Now I'm going to put the shoulder bolt in. It's going to go in there tight. That's because of this little ring here. Just a tip, when you handle the recoil assembly, always have your hand around it, just like this with your thumb holding the whole pulley down so it doesn't come out. And what I usually do is add a bit of lithium grease before I reinstall the paws. You don't need much, it'll just prevent a bit of wear and tear. And now grab each part and install it inside. Now I'm going to put a little dab of lithium grease here as well, not much. I'm also going to put a bit of lithium grease on top of the paws. I'm using lithium grease because it stays nice and soft even if it's minus 40 outside or if it's 100 degrees outside. It's the best grease for this type of application. And now you want to install the cover with the bolt and you want to line it up like this. By doing that you're going to line up the notches here to the grooves inside the plastic cover right here on each side. So I'm just going to put it on like this. And if you turn it like this before you tighten up the bolt and you see the paws go out, it's on properly. And now you can proceed to tighten up the bolt. 
and I'll try it out and you should see the paws come out like this that's all there is to it when you fix this for somebody else it's worth replacing these parts because you don't want them coming back if you're doing it for yourself and you can't really afford all the parts you can stick it back in and hope for the best but I always recommend for customers to do it properly and replace the parts they don't cost much and they'll save you a lot of aggravation, especially if your Briggs & Stratton engine has rivets to hold the recoil on the engine. Because that's a lot more work than just removing four bolts to remove and reinstall it. So now what you want to do is grab the plastic part and line it up with the holes on the recoil. As you can see, there's bolt holes in the plastic part as well. And now you want to put the recoil on the engine and line up the four holes to the four threaded holes on the engine shroud. Just snug the bolts for now. So now I'm going to tighten up the last bolt here and then go diagonally and tighten them all up evenly. And now when you grab the recoil, it's going to grab to turn the engine over. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and you can see me in my next video. Have a nice day.